Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Crandall. We're on uh, day four, page three, week one of our packet. We're going to be talking about complete sentences versus fragmented sentences. So, we c in general, and as you get older, you'll find out you can make really, really long sentences. But in general, when you first start out, you need a noun and a verb. Once again, if you're writing a sentence and your computer isn't working, <laughs> if you're writing a sentence, you need a noun and a verb. So once again, you got to have both of those. Later on, you'll find out you can have more than those. You can have three nouns and a couple verbs or different things. But the most important thing right now is that a sentence needs to have a noun and a verb. So, sentences need a noun and verb. Sentences need a noun and verb. Sentences need a noun and verb. Or else they're not complete. When a sentence only has a noun, or if it only has a verb, it is not complete. Let me show you some examples. In general, I always like to use video game stuff, so let's do Mario. Mario from Super Mario. Mario. Is that a sentence? Hmm, let's find out. Let's see. Mario, is that a person, place, or thing? Or is that something that you can do? It's a person, place, or thing. In this case, it's a person. So that means that it is going to be a noun. Noun. Bing. But if that's our sentence, then it doesn't have a verb, right? Which means it can't be a sentence. It's incomplete. It's a sentence fragment. A sentence fragment. A fragment is when you take something and you break a piece off of it. Oh no. And over here is that little piece that fell off the big piece right there. Goodbye. It is a fragment. Let's try another one. So one way we could, by the way, that we could make that a sentence is we add a verb. So let's try Mario jumps. Jumps is a verb. Mario is a noun. Let's try another one. Let's have, hmm, what would be a good one? What would be a good one? I know. Falls. That's a verb. He falls, she falls. Verb, it's something you do. What you do is called a verb, 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 verb. But there is no noun. You need a noun. So let's see what's going to fall. Uh, snow. Let's have snow. Snow falls. Now it has a noun and a verb. That makes it a complete sentence. It is not a fragment. So let's go to our page. We're on page three. It says, read each set of words. Color a happy face if the words make a comp complete sentence. Color a sad face if the words make a fragmented sentence. So for nouns, we're going to do blue. For verbs, we're going to do green. Now, you don't have to do colors on yours. You can just, I'm just doing that to show you. Nouns and verbs. Let's see. John and Kate. So John is a noun. Kate is a noun. Dog is a noun. And pet is an adjective. Hmm. Do you see any verbs there? Now, you could say that you were petting the dog. Oops, I accidentally started my Zoom meeting. You could say that you were petting the dog, but that's not what it says. It's talking about their pet dog, as in pet dog is talking about dog. 
There are no verbs. No verbs. Which means it's a sad face. Sorry, sad face. It's not complete. It needs a verb. You could say John and Kate's pet dog ate a cookie. Actually, dogs shouldn't eat cookies unless they're special cookies. John and Kate's pet dog ran around the block. The, would, ran would be a good verb, but there's no verb there, so we're going to move the next one. Betty made cookies. Now, Betty is a person, so she's a noun. Cookies are a thing, so that's a noun. And made. Made is what you do. It's something you do. So it looks like they have nouns and verbs. That means that it is a good one. Dink, 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 dink. It is, yes, it is a complete sentence. Let's try another one. Ben collected the eggs in a basket. Ben is a noun. Eggs are a noun and basket are a noun. Collected is what you do. Like you collect Pokemon cards or you collect marbles or you collect rocks. Look, they have a noun and a verb. So that's a yes. Let's do one more. The new boy at school. So let's see. The is something you'll learn later. New is an adjective. Boy is, is a person. And school is a place. But do you see any verbs? Is the boy doing anything? Nope. No verbs. No verbs. So that means it is a fragment. Fragment. Let me do one more. Likes to play on the swings. Let's see. Ooh, now this one sort of changes the rules a little bit. Swings is a noun. And likes to play is a verb. The problem is the noun, there's no noun that is doing this thing right here. There is no, there is nothing that is, uh, there is nothing that is liking to play on the swings. There's no boy who likes to play on the swings. There's no girl. There's no fish. There's no robot. There's no monster. In other words, yes, friends, normally the rule is you have to have a noun and a verb, but you can't just have a verb that doesn't have a noun talking about it. We call that a subject. You'll learn that later. Basically, likes to play on the swings, there's no subject. In other words, verb needs noun. Let's see if I can fit that. In other words, maybe Mr. Crandall. Oh, that'll have to be black, blue because it's a vote. Maybe the girl likes to play. If I could spell girl, sorry about that. Maybe the girl likes to play or the robot likes to play. Anyway, so the verb needs a noun. It doesn't have one. So that means, because remember, the swings are not the things that are liking. It's not saying the swings like to play on the swings. It's saying something likes to play on the swings, but it's not telling us what. We need to know what that noun is. So that is a yellow. Remember friends, in general, a sentence needs a noun and a verb. And usually the noun has to be doing the verb. Bill fishes. Bill is the noun. Fishes is the verb. Sarah eats. Sarah is the noun. Eats is the verb. All right, friends. This was page three, day four, week one of our packet. Have a great day.